Thanks for joining me. We've got June 2022 Next Fest demos to play through. Uh, right now we've got a plane accident uh, simulator. So usually how I do these demos is I'll play them and I'll play through either all the way through the demo or until a game breaking bug happens. If the game breaking bug is uh, further in the game or something that can be overlooked, then uh, I'll usually include it. If I can't play the game at all, then I don't include it in the next fest uh, list of demo games. So here we go. Let's get going. A plane has crashed on the reservation near Carlton. A Beechcraft Sundowner C-23 light aircraft has crashed. The weather conditions were ideal. The pilot, Alfred Goldberg, did not survive. The body has been secured by the appropriate services. Discover the crash. The cause of the crash. Hey kid, my name is Anthony and I know everything about plane crashes. I'll help you during the first day of your work. In the beginning, you have to collect your equipment. Take the backpack from the car's trunk. Uh. Find the wreckage. your backpack, you have all the necessary equipment you need to complete your mission. A marker, a fire extinguisher, camera, telephone, and scanner. Now am I going to face a plant? Oh, beer. What? Sorry. Like moonshine beer or beer beer? are questionable. I'm not gonna lie. How far will it let me walk until I'm actually there? Ooh, a little camping area. Nice. Oop, I see it. Can you see it? Right over there. Okay, excellent. You found the plane's wreckage. Now you have to secure the site so that nobody destroys the evidence. For this purpose, use markers. Go back to work. All right, thank you. All right, area secure. Good job. Uh, now I have to mark uh, all the parts of the aircraft with other evidence uh, in the case. For this purpose, use markers. What else do you want from me? Oh, I just realized. 
Where's the propeller? So it's like a hidden object game. Did I get that one? Oh, it's a rock. Never mind. The drone has marked circles around objects that may be parts of the aircraft or evidence in the case, but they can be a regular garbage as well. That would be a washing machine and not part of what I need. <laughs> but good try, little drone. Good try. Okay, every time you ha uh, every time you have to make the photographic test where they will be and things worth documenting. And one more. Oh, here, it looks like there's nothing more for us here. Use the telephone to order transportation of the wreckage to the hangar. It's time to figure out the cause of the crash. Mission accomplished. Go to the hangar and establish the cause of the crash. Okay. In the hangar, the real investigation begins. Go to the office part and read the case files lying on the table. Okay. So I'm gonna take a look around. We're at an airport. There's our truck. Courier. Planes. Damage plane. Yoke. Oh, the coffee. Okay, so not that one. All right, let's read the case files first. Okay, plane of uh, place of incident, Carlton area, outskirts of the Blue Creek Forest Reservation. 
Uh, type of aircraft, Beechcraft Sundowner C-23. Flight data recorder, no. Flight route, New York, Mount Mary. Number of passengers, one. Victim, one. Pilot, Alfred Goldberg. Description of event. An industrialist, Alfred Goldberg, boarded his light aircraft in a hurry and took off in the uh, direction of Mount Mary. The weather conditions were ideal. The pilot did not report any malfunctions. The machine suddenly lost altitude and crashed on the territory of the Blue Creek Forest Reservation. There it goes. Uh, in the flight log, the pilot describes the flight. Thanks to this, we can find out whether the plane had malfunctions. Look at the entries and search for clues. Uh, the 14th flight was good. Weather was good. Uh, cloudy, no rainfall. Flight duration, 75 minutes. Flight without disruptions. Uh, no disruptions. Uh, weather conditions, rainfall, windy, 65 minutes. The aircraft worked without problems. Uh, Savannah, weather partially clouded. The engine slightly stuttered. Let the mechanic Paul inspect the manor. Paul's number. Okay. Uh, aircraft operational. All sub to systems operational. The service book, you'll find the information about the servicing and the contact data of the mechanics taking care of the aircraft. Look through the book, you might find something interesting. Uh, comprehensive tech to review of the aircraft. Replace components, all fluids in the aircraft. Air and fuel filters, no other malfunctions found. Replace coolant set of tires. Replaced fuel line, body control system, hydraulic system in the right side of the body. Cockpit heating system repair. Propeller replacement reason, excess mileage. Replacement of steering lines in the uh, left wing. Replacement of tires, replacement of window on the right door. Uh, the rest of the components are functional. Uh, replacement of Ireland's, uh, Ireland's? I don't know what that, how to say that. In both wings, fixing the altimeter, conservation of the yoke, replacement of all positions and signal lights. After the replacements, the aircraft went under, underwent a review and at present requires no further conservation. Sheriff. While the tragedies happened, not much is left of the man. I managed to find out that the people who saw the accident were Helen and Old Bill. Go and ask them. Maybe they'll tell you something more. Dr. Quinsby. The cause of the pilot's death were the numerous internal injuries caused by the aircraft crashing into the ground. I've excluded the participation of third parties. It's good that such tragedies seldom occur in our area. My God, what a tragedy! He had found out that Margaret, that his wife, has gone to their house in the mountains, not alone, but with a lover. He wanted to catch them red-handed. I brought him to the airport, and he got into the aircraft, and the mechanic named Paul was responsible for the aircraft. Maybe he will know something more about it. Another person uh, worth asking is Mrs. Goldberg. I don't believe this to be an ordinary accident. Gentleman to the photo, can I put it down? Where do I put this photo? Was there? the clue put the clue where i would love to put the clue oh wait right here there we go alcohol i'm pretty sure alcohol is spelt incorrectly um 
mechanic Paul. I've been working with aircrafts for almost 20 years, seven of eight, seven through eight of which have been with the Goldbergs. When I do things, it's always top notch. I never allow myself any screw ups. You can check it by making a scan. Oh man, I was coming out to throw some grain to them chickens, and here I see this big old plane going right down. Black smoke coming off of its tail. Must have been some engine malfunction. I mean, uh, I know. Back in Vietnam, I served in the Air Force. Thanks, Bill. I was driving with my kids, and I saw a plane falling. It was flying in a slanted way, as if it had trouble staying in the air. Leave a message. Leave a message. Leave a message. One of the investigator's key elements is putting the wreckage of the plane back together. In order to do it, you have to have a screwdriver from the tool selection. Remember that the automatic screwdriver needs batteries. Pick up the element of the wreckage and fast it to the proper place. Once you've assembled the whole plane, remember to make a scan. Good luck. somewhere okay there's the scanner packing stand okay, well I see a screwdriver right there can I have it <laughs> no During the next every could be inspected, pick up, pack into a box. Okay. really is an aileron, but it doesn't send the parts for... <laughs> kind of fun. Oh, okay, um, left seat. I supposed to send this off? Wait, actually, there's a whole spot that I haven't gotten to special tool stand. Thank <laughs> you. 
We'll put that down. And... Showed no damages, this cuts the results. Uh... Oh, we need the screwdriver. It just told me that, too. this up. I do. I <laughs> look that. I have two hands and it lets me use them. Okay. Where's the engine? <laughs> then safety says I can't bring that into the office. Noted. I told you the plane was functional. The plane's last review was at the Aerotech. Mrs. Goldberg brought the plane back herself. Is the wife a pilot? Of course, it was her who usually flew the plane to the mountains. The wife was a pilot, too. Um... Can I help you? Did we take care of the Goldberg's plane? Yes, as far as I can remember, Mrs. Goldberg brought it here personally about a year ago. It all looked good in the papers. Maybe Jim, who conducted the inspection, will be able to tell you something more. Unfortunately, he's not at work today, so... But please try reaching him on a cell phone. Ah, well, a violent life and a violent death. He was always a ticking bomb. I never knew when he would explode and start another fight. I'd wanted to break up for a long time, but my husband didn't want to give me a divorce. How did we meet? Ironically, many years ago, we met in an aero club. Things have been sour between the Goldbergs for a long time. She wanted a divorce, and he would say it would only be over his dead body. It was all about their common property, a million dollars. For some, Mrs. Goldberg would take the plane and look for some peace and quiet in the mountains. It's very suspicious that this time, she did not take the plane. Stop taking the damn phone. <laughs> I keep picking up the stuff I don't want to pick up anymore. You've received an email. Now you have to approach your desk and turn on the computer. You can receive emails in your inbox. You can send emails by going to your outbox. Don't worry, you'll manage.
Oh, that time I hurt the uh, car. From uh, having conducted that, we confirmed that there was a 15-year-old scotch whiskey inside. Cheers! Uh, having conducted a series of tests, we found no technical malfunctions during the crash. The engine was operational. Thank you. Uh, we checked the aileron, and the preliminary analysis showed that the aileron could have fallen off before hitting the ground. We suspect it to be the fault of applied mounting screws. We recommend a further examination of the screws. Was there whiskey in the hip flask? I recommend a blood check to check whether Goldberg was piling under the influence of alcohol. Order a blood test. Please carry out a blood test of the late Mr. Goldberg for the presence of alcohol. special tool stand and that is why you wouldn't let me uh, put it back Like in my hand, where are the screws? Are they on the table? Do like I set them so by the side? Oh, yes, there they are. I leave uh nope invisible wall Hello, yeah, I was the one that made the last inspection. Well, I mean, in general, it was all good. The aileron didn't touch it. If it was replaced, it must have been done earlier and not in our place. Mrs. Goldbug, the blonde one, pretty hot for her age. By the way, did I talk to her? Nah, I'm kind of a shy with women. I wanted to leave him for a long time, but he wouldn't grant me a divorce. It would have been too shameful for him. Why didn't I take the plane to the mountains that day? I took the car and visited my lawyer on the way in order to file the divorce anyway. You can check it. Do you suggest that it was me who caused the accident? That's ludicrous. Shiny bit right there threw me off. Uh, 
as well. Such an amount did not help with the piling, but certainly did not have a significant effect on the crash. Okay. The screws have been made from poor quality steel and had no required attestations. Such screws should never be used in aircrafts where all the parts must endure exceptionally difficult operating conditions. Regards. Uh, please give me a moment. I'll check. The plane was brought by uh, Mr. Goldberg personally. It's about three years ago. We made the inspection and replaced the aileron, among other things. Young Tom was taking care of it. I'll give you his phone number. Maybe he'll be able to tell you something more. I can confirm that on this feral day, Mrs. Feral day, <laughs> Mrs. Goldberg arrived at my office and we took care of her divorce papers. The proof, there's a need I can provide the monitoring footage from the office's reception hall. Alibi, she was not involved in the crash. I remember it well. The Goldberg guy kept on screaming that he wanted to, to go faster. An exceptionally unpleasant character. If I wasn't at work, I'd punch him in his face. The aileron? Yes, I replaced it. The problem with the screws? I got no idea. I ordered the screws at All Tech Stuff in Corporate. Uh, are all stuff in Corporate? Yeah, I can send the order. Uh, Tom from Flycraft, we received your order for the universal screws. The expected delivery time is four days. Thank you. Have you sold screws to the Flycraft in the past? I have the test results attached. Do not have the required approvals. I'd be grateful for an explanation. We have indeed sold such screws, but it was clearly stated in the advertisement that they had no attestation since they are collector's item. I'm attaching the screen uh, from our shop as proof. Regards. Oh, I knew it would come back to bite us, those screws. Goldberg kept screaming he was in a hurry and that he had to have the plane ready right at the moment. Unfortunately, there was no aileron screws anywhere. Missing stocks. I was sick and tired of that guy and the fact that he kept screaming at me. I wanted him off my back, so I ordered replacements from the screws on the internet. They said they were no different from the originals. I was young and stupid. I definitely wouldn't do that now, believe me. We've checked all the clues, now we properly established the cause of the crash. At the end of every clue on the board, mark an X if the clue was false, and a V if it was the real cause of the event. Click on the clue. Helen saw a plane flying in a slanted manner, which had lost controllability. Uh, the cause had been the aileron, which got detached from the wing. This caused by a fracture in the bolts fastening the aileron. The bolts do not have the right attestation. They shouldn't have been used in the aircraft. Young Tom, the mechanic, had used uncertified bolts in order to fulfill Goldberg's unrealistic expectations as quickly as possible. This rush turned out to have fatal consequences. He's been accused of dereliction of duty and uh, negligent homicide and might be facing up to eight years in prison. 
The interesting thing is that Mrs. Goldberg has paid for Tom's attorney with her own resources. She claims that her husband was a raging nutcase who would force others to obey him, so it wasn't the boy's fault that he wanted to fulfill Goldberg's absurd demands as quickly as possible. She inherited all of the family fortune after her husband's death. She decided to permanently move to the mountains and settle down with a new partner. She hired her attorney to run the company. Uh, he was immediately fired by Mrs. Goldberg. Due to baseless accusations, the boy did not receive positive letters of recommendation and has now been having trouble finding work for a while now. <laughs> and we're done. That is the end of it. I have to say, guys, this is the first demo out of quite a few that I played today that I actually made it to the end. Uh, most of the demos had crashed. So thank you for keeping me company and hanging out with me, and I'll be back with another one.